Hey, Lactris here, and I'm playing Planet Coaster, and I've just decided to try the uh, challenge mode with Alpine setting, so we'll see how this goes. Just having a little look, I have a, had a little fiddle with a couple other games of it, I'm going to try. So, I think I've got the hang of some of it, and I'll figure out the rest with you guys. So we've already got a couple of people here waiting to come in, but the park is actually empty, so not sure what they're hoping to uh, do when they get past the gate, just explore the lovely grasslands I imagine. Not the best. Now, uh, I've been playing around a bit with the scenery ratings on my other games, and so far these trees that I've got already in are only 9 scenery. So. I'm not too bothered about them. I think I'd rather have the... how much am I going to get for these? 375. I'd rather have the money so I can build more uh, queues and things like that. So I'm just going to get rid of all these trees here a minute and I'll be right back. Okay and I'm back and I got rid of all the trees and there was a few rocks hiding around as well and I got $671 so that's not too bad. That'll help. That's quite a lot actually. That could buy me free shops if I do the cheap version for now and build on them later. Uh, just to show you what I mean by that, you've got um, all these pre-made shops that they give you. So if you wanted to say for example a burger store like that, it's going to cost you $723. It's cool, it looks nice. But for early game it's really expensive. So I would probably go for instead like a chief beef little tiny thing. These are $200, takes up less room, and it's really good for the early game, really early starting out, you haven't got much money. And then when you start placing all these roller coasters and the rides and you're getting the food sold and you get all the money, then you can go back, sell them, and then go ahead and either work on it yourself or just place out some of these, just to make it look a bit better, adds to the scenery. Some of this you need to research, which you do up here. I'm not going to touch this just yet. I don't really need information kiosks, they're for priority queues. I'm not quite there yet. Right, so start off before I forget. We set the ticket prices, so I played around with this before. Some people kept moaning saying that the ticket prices were too much and then the rides were too much and then other people were like, ooh, entry was cheap and now this ride is cheap. So it was kind of a bit, uh, some people liked it, some people didn't. So I'm going to start it off quite high, see how it goes. Start off with uh, a 10 for the standard and an 8 for the family, see how that goes. If it's not too good, we'll lower it back down a bit because we are just starting and so... Right, hmm, what to do? Okay, let's start with our pathway. So they've got, is it this one? Yep, they've got a flagstone pathway. And I would like to keep up with this kind of uh, nice looking six meter pathway. Problem is they haven't done that here, so I could, I imagine I could uh, just delete that. Let's uh, get rid of this, uh, get hold of this. Or we could just move it. Can we not do half and half in a way? No, will it not let me do that? Okay, go back to how it was. Okay, we're still figuring it out. I'm, I'm still working out how everything works. So to say, like I haven't really played around with the paths too much, I just used the general default 4 meter and I found a lot of people were getting congested, there was a lot of people in separate places and it was slowing them down and it was making things very difficult. So I think I'm going to go with uh, 6 meters this time around, see how that works out for me. Ooh, but it's very expensive. It's Oof. Hmm, that's difficult for early game. I think I'll stick to it though. I will stick to what I've said I'll stick to. 
I only want the one entrance. I don't want to be doing more than one entrance at the minute. As in um, where they come in through the gate. I don't need it. It's fine. I experimented with that and it didn't really make too much difference. So let's go a bit like that and then out a couple more. Because we haven't even touched our starting amount just yet. We, this is all tree tree money going into building our paths. Right. So I'm not sure how I want to sell this out. But I've got the beginnings of something that could come out to here, to here, to there. And maybe something in the middle. We'll, we'll leave it at this for the moment. And start playing around with some rides. What have we got? Because from what I can tell... You get a random set of rides, and what you have to research is different each time, I think. Because the last couple of times I played, it was different things I'd got given at the beginning. So, and I also have a very vague idea of which rides were most popular, which were not popular, and that kind of thing. We're not sadly going to get into the coasters anytime soon probably because these are quite expensive and um, I know on the Steam Workshop you have a lot of people that have made rides and they've put them on there and I've experimented with those, I've got a few of them here I might show you some of them and tell you whose rides they are later in the game, we'll see I'm going to start off with my own, maybe make my own first but first things first, we need some shops. So the first thing I will want them doing are shops. Now, because this is going to be our main path, I imagine, it's going to be the longest path. It's going to have most of the, probably most of the roller coasters, thrill rides along it. This will need more shops on it. So let's see got to get used to what I've got now because I haven't obviously researched yet so whew, what have we got hot dogs chief beefs tiki tiki <laughs> I do love that one right um how about at the very beginning if we start with a block of toilets Now I know these are all very very basic but I mean toilets are toilets you don't need a lot I probably won't expand on the toilets too much let's give it a bit of a cue like that yep I'm happy with that we're done with that that's all I'm gonna do for building on the toilet and I mean so let's make it a dollar to use the toilet <laughs> well, the, the saying is spend a penny, let's spend a dollar, you know. Right, uh, what else do I want? Some first aid? Do I want it? Let's go opposite. Let's go opposite the toilets and we'll have our first aid. Where is it? It's about, it's about there, isn't it? Don't need it too long. There we go. And I'm also mean, so I'm going to charge to get first aid, but only a dollar. I'm mean, but not overly mean. So, I'm not sure if I like that. That's a bit far out, actually. Uh, and it seems like a slightly skew whiffed. If you get my meaning, it's slightly off uh, kilter. Right, about like that. How's that? Oh, that's much better. I like that. Okay, so we've got first aid, we've got toilets. Now we need some food, some drink, and then we can get on our way and build our first rides. And obviously the game gave us 8,000 to begin with because I'm still learning, so I went for the easy mode. Maybe later I'll make a harder game, try it out. Hmm... Ooh, we need an ATM as well. But 
I don't know, the ATMs look kind of boring on their own, so I might actually build um, a blueprint version of the ATM, just for now. Yeah, let's go for the planet ATM, I mean, it's not that much dearer, is it? It's only 90, $96. Right, let's put the... Um, let's go next to the toilet. I'm thinking about where I want everything, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to set this particular one out. I'm not sure yet. We can always change it if we don't like it, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it, I like it. Right, what else have we got? We got a ticket booth, we don't need that. Uh, no. Park entrance. Oof, 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 oof. What type of park entrance should we go with? How about one of these? Is, is this nice looking? How's that look? Oh, get rid of that. Which way is... Ah! Ooh, ideas. Idea. Mmm. That's sparking ideas with me. I like it. Yes, let's get rid of this. Demolish. Right. Um, mm -mm. paths. How about if I have it branch out after the first set of everything and then it can go on its way and do stuff, yeah? What do you think? Yeah? I like that. Cool, only seven dollars back. That's that's just, oof. No, it never gives you full reprice, does it? It's so terrible, right? Ah. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, it wasn't under coaster, was it? It was under shops and facilities, and we wanted this one, and it needs to face. Which way does it face? I can't remember now. The gate is facing that way, so we need it to be that way. Okay, yeah, that's right. Now let's just straighten that up a little. Now where's the lowest I can put it? Down to there, like that? Yeah, that's it. Now that gets, well, it's not going to adjust our scenery because I'm not in play mode right now. It's paused. Just while I get the beginnings out because otherwise people are just going to walk in and there's nothing. And we don't really want that. But that will have added a slight bit of scenery rating. It looks nice. It's probably nicer than something I'd make for an entrance. But I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Maybe later I'll demolish it and give it a go. Right, so we got our ATM. That needs some money on it because we can't let people take money out for free. God no. Gosh. Um do 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 uh, 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 uh gift shop. Yeah, let's make a gift shop. Custom gift shop. What have we got? We got hats or we got balloons? Let's go with hats. Everyone always likes the hats. They always sell better than the balloons, because Adults like hats, and kids like hats, teenagers like hats, and it's not just one particular group of people. Done. That looks very off to me. Like, they're very uneven, but I'm not, I'm not that majorly concerned, so... And then let's have our first food and drink along here. What can we do? We've got energy, milkshakes, slush. And we've got beef, hot dogs and that. Right, so if we go with the chief beef along this side, just because I think the drinks and toilets would go hand in hand. And... I'm not sure what type of drink. Now, I read somewhere when I was doing a bit of research on this that different drinks attract different types of customers. And I thought, that's interesting. I might have to look into that. I tried it out. 
and I think it kind of works because I got adults to go where I kind of wanted in my last try and I got kids to kind of stay where I wanted and I'm kind of mean I let them have a bit of everything but it's only a tiny little bit <laughs> I'm such a meanie I know but they can't complain they get some right so that's the chief beef right drink type then obviously we haven't got everything there's uh, a coffee one I think is that the only one we're missing I think it's a coffee let me have a little yeah coffee there might be another one that I'm forgetting about but I think it's coffee the one we're missing there might be more and I know here we're missing the taco stand and what was the other one I can't remember now but there is another we're missing tacos and something it'll come to me or it might be even on here what's it nope that's the tacos ah the french fries that's it yes there was french fries so in theory for some reason the gulpy slush appeals to the children the milkshakes appeal to the teenagers and coffee appeals to adults so I'm not sure if the gulpy energy will go in with this for kids which I doubt it's an energy drink you'd think maybe at least teens or adults or if it is adults I don't know so on that basis I mean everybody likes slushies everyone likes milkshakes so I think I might just start off with a milkshake and see how it goes and then obviously we could probably afford more to be honest because we did get quite a nice little buffer of money from the uh, selling of the trees right cosmic cow milkshakes so yes I know I'm increasing the price I'm a meanie I know but it's, we're starting off we're just testing the water a bit try and get some money in because I didn't have it set this high with my last one so I'm not sure how it's going to work out from the beginning whether people will pay it or not I guess we're going to find out right so we've got some food we've got drink, we've got toilets, we've got first aid we've got an ATM and we've got a hat store for gifts so is that a bit of everything? Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay, so that's a bit of all of that. And that leaves us with quite a bit of money still to do everything else. Right, so before I forget, let us get this sorted again. And that leaves us some room to perhaps put some kind of uh, rides over here too. So it's not the end of the world that we're putting this in after it's perhaps actually a quite a good thing and it gives me a very early opportunity to see how uh, crowded it gets with it being a six because as you can see here this one's a four it's, it's fairly small compared it's not that much bigger but it gives them a lot more room to walk past each other Right, now let's build our first ride. I'm thinking I'm going to stick to what I've been doing the last try because it seemed to work. So let me just see because Gears of Fear is pretty popular on my last game, but so too was. Wild Blue. And Wild Blue actually has more excitement. So I'm going to start again like I did with Wild Blue. Now, I wasn't really majorly happy with the queue I made for it. So I might fiddle and make it a slightly different queue. Now, where do I want Wild Blue? Do I want it to be somewhere back here out the way? That could work. Yeah, if I get it out of the way out here somewhere. Because 
I'm not going to have anything else out here, so I might as well. And it leaves me room for more things out there. Right. So the entrance then, I will have... You know what? I'll have it over here. And my exit, I'll have... Over here, out of the way. So first up... All the exits are going to be 4 meters because otherwise they're just too big. They don't need to be more than 4 meters for the exit. So pop it back up to 6 so I don't forget. And connect a queue to this right 